right. Fingers crossed, this is as easy as I think it's gonna be. Oh yeah, that's what we wanna see right there. Did we cook the perfect steak? So there is a new type of cooking that's starting to take the world by storm. And by new type of cooking, I mean a uh, type of cooking that's new to me. And by starting to take the world over, I mean I just found out about it. There's not very many ways people can agree that they get the uh, most perfect steak every single time. But sous vide, one of those ways. For those of you that might not be familiar with this type of cooking, this is what a sous vide system is. Essentially, what you have is a container that holds water. You have this piece, which heats up your water. It has things on it like a timer. Um, you can set the temperature. And it comes with this grate which you can slide food in between to keep it upright and clip it to here and cook yourself a bunch of steaks at once. A lot of people swear by this method of cooking. And although I'm sure I've had it in restaurants, I've never actually seen somebody in person use one. Before we can get cooking though, I do have one big thing I gotta take care of. Remember how I said my fridge died and it smells like a seafood market? Mm. Oh, that is not good. Oh. Oh, oh I got it in my eye. It's a little cleaner at least. Not only is sous vide cooking supposed to be really good, it's also supposed to be really consistent. So today, we're gonna be using it on a camping trip. And we're gonna be seeing just how easy is it to make yourself food with a sous vide system. Is it easy enough you can do it in the truck? Find out on today's Unsolved Mysteries. Also, there's so much stuff on the outside of this truck, like grime and dirt-wise. It would It's gonna take years of washing it to get it off. I don't think it's possible even. Our first stop is gonna be at the one place I know where I can get cheap, good cuts of meat here in the Northwoods. Costco. Also, here's the biggest flex. You're gonna see all day, potentially. Oh, oh. Okay. There we go. So, one of the things that you need to be able to do sous vide is a vacuum sealer like this one here. It's just to keep a barrier between your meat and the water. Wagyu, truck rose, no. These also look pretty nice. Look at those. All right, we'll go all out. Why not? Something that you might be surprised that I picked up in the last few weeks is golfing. Good, how are you? Good. Hi. Thanks. It's not really a Costco visit unless you get a glizzy or a slice of pizza. Get 
some really nice looking steak. All right, but before we get too far, I need to run and grab some stuff from my pole barn. And one of those things is the sponsor of today's video, Jackery. This is the number one power pack system for people that are looking for an easy way to bring portable power while they're on the road. There's so many reasons why I use lithium generators and not gas generators. One, this thing's completely quiet. Two, I can use this safely inside of my truck bed. And three, it has the inverter built in on it so I can charge my laptop off of a USB-C or I can plug into one of these other DC ports. We have three AC plugins that you'd find in a house. And then you even have a DC charger here if you have items that you don't want to take as big of a draw. This is the 1500 size. This is going to be perfect for what we're going to use it for today. One thing that I really like about this system is its ability to be able to be charged a bunch of different ways. So obviously you can plug it just straight into the wall. You can utilize the car charger that comes with it. You can also use these two guys. Both plug directly into these two inputs right here, allowing you to connect up to four solar panels, including the new Solar Saga 200, which is a 200 watt solar panel. Each come with kickstands on the back, as well as strong magnetic connection points that you can quickly open and close. Drackery is a longtime sponsor of the channel, and I really believe in their products. I wouldn't promote something on this channel that I don't believe in. I'll go ahead and leave their website down below, but I'm excited to test this thing and see if it can power our sous vide system. So let's get back in the truck. Today, it's a beautiful day here in the Northwoods. We're working with 80 degrees right now with a low of 65 tonight. Right now, I'm en route to my camping spot and my entertainment for the evening. Make this look a little nicer, shall we? Welcome to my domain. All right, so I've got myself some pretty nice looking filet mignon here. Um, they look to be about an inch and a half thick, and they also look delicious. First method to our madness is going to be sealing these in vacuum bags like this. So I'm going to be doing that really quick. I'm going to be doing two per bag. Did I mention yet that I am going to be trying to play a round of golf? Well, <laughs> cooking the best steaks that I've ever cooked. Again, this is my first time using sous vide, using the sous vide method, I should say but it seems relatively straightforward. Oh, it would probably help if I plug this in, huh? All right, into the jackery. Um, that did quite the opposite of what I wanted it to do. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Get a good feel, hopefully. One vacuum sealed bag of filet. Ah! My buddies just showed up. Okay, this thing has sous vide mode on it, so we're gonna try that for this package, see if that makes a difference. We got them all, both packaged up now. This is the main ingredient for cooking this. I don't think I have enough. Okay, so now to go down, plug her in. So this piece right here is what heats the water up. Turn it on quick. It's 
it's at 70 it's set at 74 right now we're gonna set it at 130 and a half i'm gonna click start to do timer i'm gonna do it for an hour and 20 which is what's recommended for steaks around this size we're just gonna submerge these in our water along with our carrots Actually, we're gonna do an hour 35 on the timer, just to be safe. All right, fingers crossed, this is as easy as I think it's gonna be. But we gotta go golf. Howdy. Just in time or almost too late? Almost on time? Oh, this, this very well could be awful. The golf game and the steaks, because I've never cooked like this before, but we're going to try it. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I'm by no means a good golfer, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try to make me look as best as we can. Hold this. That was better than I thought I was going to hit it, to be honest. Oh, yeah! Nice! Ah, oh, golf, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> that was really nice. That might be a hole in one. Oh my. Yeah. I heard a tree. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> All right, we started at 6.30 roughly. So it's 7.30 right now. It means our uh, our food should be done pretty soon. We're on hole 18, so we get did nine. We got nine more to go, but after this hole, we're gonna go check on uh, check on our meats. Thinking of the last hole on the prep line. All right, please be please be cooked steak. All right, so these just had a minute left on here. It's perfect. I'm gonna stop it. Pull everything out. Carrots. Look cooked. That's good. I'm gonna set my fridge a little warmer. Put them up top there. Okay. Let them sit in there. And get back to golfing. The last nine. It's looking good so far. <laughs> this is so funny. Cooking steak while golfing. Yikes. All right, it started getting laid out. We were playing such great golf. You should have seen the back nine. It was like, everything was eagle birdie. Absolutely crazy. Just kidding. I definitely lost about 20 balls in the last 10 minutes. It's time to cook up some steaks. Okay. So there's your steaks. This cast iron nice and hot. It's probably gonna sing a little bit. Dude. <laughs> Boy, I'm excited. Salt. Pepper. Four filet mignons. The other nice thing about doing uh, sous vide is that all of the juice is saved in the bag there. Your boy single out, and it looks good. Not too shabby. Are the, are the bugs absolutely killing you? No. Thermosol hasn't kicked in yet. Mosquitoes are our state bird. I don't have any butter, so we're just gonna use some olive oil. And then this is really fast, so we're just gonna do 30 seconds per side. Now I just gotta get a good crust on these. I wanna flip these twice. Oh yeah, that's what we wanna see right there. Oh wow, beautiful. 
it. All right, moment of truth. Did we cook the perfect steak? Oh my lord. That looks like a perfect medium rare to it me. so soft. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right, here, I'll cut them all up and um, yeah, gonna grab that blue plate, Brody. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. There you go. Dude, these turned out so good. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at how perfect that steak is. Oh my god. That's the best steak I think I've ever cooked. The <laughs> plastic fork cuts it in half. Look at that. Golf course steak. Sous vide. Let's give it a test. So tender. Best steak I've ever had. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Love that. She gone. I would go ahead and say without a doubt, that's the best steak I've ever cooked on this channel. Link for that thing will be in my Amazon if you guys want to buy it. Why didn't I do this sooner? Well, it doesn't finish here. We're camping out here overnight, and in the morning we're going to test out and do some scrambled eggs in it. See if we can make a good breakfast. Yeah, very welcome. Much. Very, very welcome. All right, fellas. Have a good one. Thanks for that. You're very welcome. Great golf with you, too. Yeah, if you want to yeah. golf. Safe travels, boys. You're very welcome. If you guys want a water bottle like that, you can go to head over to mavmadeit.com. We've got them in stock along with air fresheners, these new shirts, new live bait hats. And once this stuff runs out, it's not going to be available anymore. It's been up for like a week or so, and we're running low on inventory right now. So that is so cool that I just played around to golf while cooking the best steak that I've ever made. Sorry, it's just like mind blowing to me. Despite it being an absolute pigsty in here, that went so good. It is 9.37. I'm about ready to uh, call her a day here. I probably played my worst game of golf today also, by the way. It was not pretty. About 62 degrees out right now. It's looking like it's gonna be a perfect night for camping. I'm gonna get in bed here. And uh, see y'all in the morning. Good morning. Oh, God. Okay. Now what? Eggs. The point of this method is not to make the easiest scrambled eggs. The point of this method is to make the best textured scrambled eggs. Mm. So we'll see if we can do it. One of my favorite restaurants in Vegas that I went to, um, which is actually originated from LA, is called Egg Slut, and they make a sous vide egg sandwich. And it was unreal. The texture on it was like uncanny. So that's what we're going for today. 6 a.m. and here I am playing with a vacuum sealer in the back of my truck. Preheat this thing to 135. Bye. Oh, that was a juicy egg. Okay, I'm gonna go with some salt and pepper. Now for the magic. Get some cheese. And I also brought with some some cooked bacon. Some crispy cooked bacon. Ah, yes. Oh, God. Okay. 
go, 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 go. Ah. Nice. We have the food in the bag. So now, we are going to try to vacuum shield this bag. Oh yeah, it is working. Very slowly. Alright, enough of that. I'm actually changing this to 165. Alright, we're at 159, baby. It's hot. In goes egg. Oh. Oh. We're gonna leave them in there for 10 minutes before I'm gonna like agitate them, break them all up, and then leave it in there for a little longer after that, for another 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Ooh, that's hot. That flavor's not as cooked as I thought it was gonna be. Try 10 more minutes? All right, let's try that again. Definitely not as quick or as hands-free as the steak was. These suckers should be done. They look cooked. Kind of. Let's see what we got here. Whoa. Dude. What? Look at this texture. That's unreal. The only way that you'd ever be able to achieve something close to this in a pan is if you were constantly stirring and stirring and stirring on super super low heat they look a lot like those eggs that i liked in la or vegas they are really good those are like a melt in your mouth like stupid good eggs if you're trying to impress somebody it's worth the extra 30 minutes of cooking I can't lie, that's really cool. And I guess, I mean, in a sense, it was easy-ish, I guess. This was just a very needy dish. Like, needed to be tended to a lot. I gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah, that was awesome. Definitely has a place in my kitchen. Hopefully, you guys like this video. If you have any ideas or things you want to see me cook with or cook in the future, let me know. As always, until next time, you guys know the drill. Just keep on trucking, baby.